And we are at the halfway point in this year's legislative session. The House finished up yesterday voting on bills. Today was the deadline to vote on bills in the Senate. Our 13 News reporter Emily Longnecker tells us what they got done today. Senators spent the whole day in session voting on bills that over the past month had first made it through the committee process and then the process where senators could offer changes. Today's votes were on bills that made it through both of those. The machine is closed. Clerk will tie the rope. The Senate passed 30 bills today, many of them dealing with education. One that came with a lot of discussion, Senate Bill 128, which would give school boards the final say on lessons in sex education. Under the bill, school boards must hold a public meeting and approve the material used to teach sexuality. Districts must also publish those materials on the district's website and what topics will be discussed. I don't want a school board telling me and a professional who's going to teach the class what they should be using to teach my child human sexuality. Could it be the Bible? I don't know. Could it be some book that we've never heard of before? I don't know. Because now the school board gets to determine what material they use to teach human sexuality. Another bill would require schools to establish a truancy prevention policy for students in grades K through 6. It also called for an interim study committee to look at the state's truancy numbers. When it comes to public safety, Senate Bill 240 passed. It would increase the penalties for blocking streets to drive around in circles. Bills that pass out of the Senate today now go to the House, where the vetting process will begin there by lawmakers for the second half of the session. That starts on Monday. At the State House, Emily Longnecker, 13 News.